Hello everybody, my name is Shrimp and welcome back to my very first video on uh, Roblox scripting. Today we are going to be creating a disappearing platform for an obby and uh, so let's just get started. The first thing is that we want to create this obby from scratch. I mean you can use the obby template that Roblox gives you but I'm just going to do a base plate. Um, so first thing you're going to do is as you can see in your explorer um, here's your workspace. There's camera, terrain, spawn location, which is this, as well as your base plate. Uh, we don't want we don't want a base plate because we don't want to rock walk all the way there just to start our obby. So we're gonna actually just delete the, the base plate. Um, you can just press delete on your Windows. Oh my gosh. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I guess the first thing we're gonna do is create an actual platform. Uh, so you're gonna go to model. Then you're gonna go to part. And yeah, we just need a regular, yeah, just a regular square part. Um, let's make this bigger. It's kind of stuck right now. Okay, let's move this. Move this here. Uh, we're gonna scale this this way. Uh, we don't need to scale it that way and this way. Um, this just can be whatever length or height you guys want, it's whatever you're comfortable with. All right, and I'm just gonna put this to the middle. Uh, the one thing that is important though is that you do need to have this anchored. So if I don't have it anchored and I spawn, you're literally gonna fall through the map. Or, yeah, okay, I guess it already fell. Um, the platform will fall. So first thing I'm gonna do is gonna have it anchored. And so when you do spawn, you're no longer gonna that that platform will no longer fall and you'll be able to walk on this platform next thing we're gonna want to do is we are going to create another platform uh, for the disappearing part all right so we're just gonna copy this move it over here um, you can make I mean if you guys want uh, you can actually have some constraints uh, to uh, make sure it's on even ground as, as this other platform. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll just do it just to show you guys. Uh, so basically, you want to constrain it. So yeah, a line tool. Uh, so I select this, and then I select the other base plate using control. And basically, yeah, I want to have... Okay, I want it to... Yes, I want it to be on the same Y plane. So I'm going to align it. I also want it to be on the same Z plane. So it's going to be perfectly aligned now, as you, can, as you can sort of tell. We also need this anchored because if not, it'll just fall through the map. All right, now that we have two, all right, now let's play. Now that we have two um, platforms, this is perfect. This is really good. All right, we have two platforms and I guess we'll just create another platform just as like the, the ending platform, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of aligning it, but um, if you want to align it, you do the same thing that we did before. Here is the real part of scripting. As you can see, I selected the middle platform, and you can see here are a bunch of properties that are associated with this platform. So you can see the brick color is medium stone gray. If I change it, it changes along with the platform. So let's just keep it blue. Um, same with color, material, you can change the material to grass, granite, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is just like, this is, this is just like, um, appearance properties, uh, reflectance, transparency, all that. Uh, we are going to play with transparency, but I'll go into that later. Um, part orientation, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, yeah, so the most important part is going to be the can, can, uh, collide properties and then the transparency so if you see the can collide if you just hover over this it shows you what can collide actually means it says determines whether physical interactions with other parts are respected if true will collide and react with physics if false will pass through falling so as you can see right here watch uh, basically if collide can collide is off you will just fall through you you want you want this to be dynamic right now it's just it's it's forever not checked marked for can collide but we want to write some code where this can be switched on and off automatically so the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to write a script 
and we're just gonna do disappearing platform i'm not sure if i spelled that right i'm pretty sure i spelled it wrong but it's fine all right so the first thing we're gonna do so right now uh we're in a script right and we want a reference to the part we're actually gonna touch right so say local platform so this is the blue platform we're referring to and so we want to to reference this part we're gonna do script.parent and then so that's the platform and then you're gonna do and then we're gonna write a function local function disappear and so what a function is is that it just calls some set of code um if you wanted you even you don't even kind of you don't even need this function but it just helps you write better code and it makes it more readable so okay so what we're gonna do is so disappear we're gonna do platform so when we actually want it to disappear we're gonna do platform that dot can collide which is what the property we touched before equals false so can collide is true is it's called a boolean which means only true or false that's the only two states that it could have so can collide we want it unchecked marked or false and then on top of that we also just want to make it transparent to help the 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 player realize that when i jump on the platform and there's nothing there i will fall through and so we're just going to call disappear yeah, so this is our disappear platform. Eventually, we also want to make it reappear, right? Uh, we just don't want to call this function once and it'll be dis disappearing forever. So uh, we're going to call appear uh, platform. And we're just going to do the opposite of the disappear uh, properties. So platform can collide true. That means you can touch the platform. Uh, these are these are comments, by the way. These just uh, this is just my. These don't actually affect your code. It just helps you guys explain what I'm doing, right? And then we also want the tr transparency to go back to zero because we want it to be fully colored, and we don't want it to be invisible. That's what transparency means. Uh, so nice. So after that, um. What we're going to do is we will just write a simple while loop. Uh, if you guys don't know what while means, uh, while loop will will loop forever uh, if you do while true. Uh, so, so basically in a while loop, uh, you have different criteria at the top. And so if this criteria is true, it will run the code inside. But if it's false, it will stop running the code at that moment. So because we want it to we because we want this code to run forever and ever we just do while true uh so every time it's true you just run over and over and over again um and so what we want to do is we want to add a wait which just so this waits we wait three seconds we want we make the platform disappear we wait three seconds again make it reappear and then it ends so and then it goes back to the top looks at this criteria while true if it's true it goes down and reads this back again and it goes over and over and over again so if you guys check right here we're gonna play it now so one two three one two three one two three bang one two three I mean, my timing's off, but you can see like the point like this because the while loop is happening over and over again. It's just going to do the wait three seconds. So it's going to do uh, the wait three seconds, which is in. Yeah, so we're, we're right now we're waiting three seconds, making the platform disappear, waiting three seconds and reappearing and just going to happen over and over and over again. All right. And so let's actually. So right now. Uh, I should be able to stand on this, and when it disappears, I should be able to fall through. So, I'm just going to stand on it. Nice, that works, that works. And then I fall through, because the can collide turned to false. And so, I just died right now. And so, this happens over and over again, because it's always a constant loop. 
And uh, that is the tutorial for today. So that's a very simple scripting tutorial. It's very beginner level. If you want to create an obby, this is like the very basics you need as for a disappearing platform. So in the next video, we'll be discussing how to create deadly lava for your obby. Uh, and we'll put some like deadly lava where if I touch it, I die automatically. If you guys like this video, make sure to drop a like. I appreciate everyone who stopped by. And uh, see you in the next one. Sure.